Hi, my name is Maria, and I'm going to be talking about the best and worst day of my life. Where, um, it was on my dad's birthday. It's on July 16, 2014. And so me and my brother woke up around 8 a.m. We decided to make him some fruit smoothies and some chocolate pancakes, which are his favorite. And so we ate together at the table together, and we were just talking about what we were going to do. And my dad decided to go to a shooting range in Chino, which is kind of far. So we were like, okay, let's go. And we went on the freeway. It took us kind of like an hour or two to get there because there was a lot of traffic. And we get there. Um, at the time, my dad was um, married to a woman that was training to be in the Anaheim Police Department. So she had a license, and so we went. And we got there, we shot some rounds. And um, on, one of the, on my last round, when I was shooting, one of the shells of the bullet fell on my skin. It kind of burned me, and uh, after that we decided to go eat because we were hungry. And we went to a restaurant my dad used to work at, and I think it's in Placentia. And we got there, we ate some barbecue ribs. They were really huge barbecue ribs. They're so juicy, and we ate a lot that day. I didn't even want to stand up from the table because I was so full. After that we decided to go to downtown Disney and just walk around and just shop like usual. So we did, and when I got there, when we were walking around, I found two $50 bills folded together on the floor. And to me, $100 back then, which was two years ago, was a lot, but now you're in high school and $100 is like a college book. <laughs> but, yeah, I was really happy. We just we went to build a bar workshop. I've always loved stuffed animals when I was a little girl. And I made one, I think or two, and after that we went to the, the movie theater. I forgot which movie we watched, because we would watch movies like every weekend. But after that, we decided to go in and out. We eat a lot as a family, like it doesn't matter what time it is, if we want to eat, we're going to go eat. <laughs> so we went in and out, of course through the drive through because in and out is so full, it's like packed with people, the line takes forever. And I'm claustrophobic, so I can't be in the room with like a lot of people, because the window for me. So we were in the drive-thru, we got our burgers on our way home. As we're cross crossing through, through the intersection, uh, like um, another car just hits us. Like I'm not talking about like a little scratch on my dad's Tahoe. It was a big truck and it hit us. So our car drives into the section divider on the left side. I don't remember what happened, I just know I passed out. I wake up the next morning, my dad's sitting on the hospital chair, they're so uncomfortable, but he was just staring at me. And I wake up and I'm like, Dad, what's going on? Like, what happened? He just stays quiet. I'm like, Dad, talk to me. Like, where's my brother? Like, are you okay? He had a few scratches, a few bumps, because of the airbag had hit him. He just stays quiet. So I'm freaking out in my head about like feeling like I'm gonna pass out again. I'm like, dang, I don't know, like, what happened? Like, I was just freaking out. The doctor comes in. He looks at me, have you been feeling different lately? And I was like, no, like what are you talking about? What does this have to do with the crash? He looks at me, he's like, well, you're six months pregnant, congratulations. I'm like, I look around, I'm like, are you serious? Like, I'm like waiting for the TVs to come out, like everyone recording. <laughs> My dad's just staring at me, he just rushes to me, he's crying, he's like, well, mija, like I'm happy for you. And I'm like, I'm still in shock, I'm not even happy. I'm like, okay, but where's my brother? And, well, I was like the best and worst day of my life. Thank you.